Spring comes and goes very quickly in Beijing. The flowers that bloom only stay for two weeks or so until the strong south wind blows through. The changing of seasons brings with it fresh air and plenty of sunshine. And what better place to experience these changes than at one of China's most iconic landmarks. According to legend, the Great Wall was traced out by a helpful dragon, which is the reason it winds and weaves across the landscape. It stretches from Lop Lake in the west for approximately 9,000 kilometers east, roughly following the southern edge of Inner Mongolia until it extends out into the sea at Shanghai Guan. The earliest walls were built under the rule of Emperor Qin Shi Huang, who ruled from 260 to 210 BC and was the first to unify the country that we know today. He is also famous for his impressive terracotta army, which stands guarding his tomb just over 1,000 kilometers south in Xi'an. The earliest wall was mostly built of rammed earth, stone and adobe, created by a manpower of soldiers, common people and criminals. Following the Qin dynasty, the wall has been added to and rebuilt many times in different dynasties, but most famously by the Ming dynasty, the rule from 1368 to 1644. They recreated and strengthened the wall using new techniques involving stone and bricks. Most of what survives today dates back to that time, when nearly one million soldiers were said to guard the Great Wall from foreign invaders. The highest point of the Great Wall is around Beijing, at Heitan Mountain, at 1,534 meters, and it extends across the country, rising and falling until it reaches sea level. It's said to be the longest man-made structure in the world, and it's incredible to think it was made over 2,000 years ago. Some things in Chinese culture, however, date back even further. According to legend, tea was first discovered in 2737 BC by Emperor Shen Nong when a leaf from a nearby shrub fell into water he was boiling. In the years that followed, tea became deeply woven into Chinese culture with various tea processing techniques being created in different areas of the country. As tea evolved, so too did the tea sets that accompanied it. Materials such as pottery, porcelain, glass, bamboo, jade, and many more were used to create elegant and poetically designed tea sets. Kung Fu tea, also known as the Chinese tea ceremony, developed into an art as well as a social event. Even today, friends gather as the host impresses the guests with a performance in tea brewing and pouring. China has a range of different teas, such as white tea, red tea, black tea, post-ferment and more, all with their unique flavor and color. But all of these teas have a similar starting point, that of green tea, which is ready for picking around this time of year. This green tea here is one of the most famous, the Longjing or Dragonwell tea. Originating in Hangzhou, Zhejiang province, it is produced mostly by hand and is renowned for its high quality, earning itself the title Queen of Green Teas. <coughs> These are the hutongs, a maze of alleyways and courtyards that circle and extend out from the central palace. Housing here dates back for thousands of years and was originally arranged according to social status. The alleyways of this design, however, date back to the Ming Dynasty of the 15th century. They were designed to stretch from east to west, allowing daylight to shine down them throughout the day. The courtyards that lie within are accessed by south-facing doorways, following the rules of feng shui, allowing for the warm south wind to blow in. Many of the old hutongs are still lived in today, even though they are falling apart. In some areas, the number of hutongs has dropped considerably, demolished to make way for a modern city but some have been redesigned and given a new lease of life. Indie shops, cafes and restaurants have sprung up over the last decade, saving many hutongs from destruction and keeping a part of Beijing's history alive. Entrepreneurs from both China and abroad have settled in the alleys, providing a wonderful mix of businesses for people to explore.